<laughs> hey, you peeps, my peeps, <laughs> what's goody? I'm your host Fluffy J, this is Fluffy Uncensored. Ooh, <laughs> I love this song, man. This song is a banger. Alright, so we got the council here. This is the blind playthrough. I found this on the PlayStation Network. It's an episodic kind of game. So this is episode one. It has five episodes. Um, this is a vibe. I, I had to delete my um, my two videos that I had for it. But we're about to start over because it was corrupted. Like my favorite song going round and round in my head. And then this part. Hey, hey. <laughs> I like it. Alright, let's hope that that worked. Oh, oui, oui. Monsieur, mademoiselle, we are in France, in Paris. Uh, 1792. My man's getting jacked up looking. You getting beat up right now? <coughs> yep. Stop! That was disrespectful. You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borchert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. What? Nothing. Uh. Not a sound. You're an asshole. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, <coughs> nothing will remain of your body. Don't talk to if our you mom. touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. Alive, bro. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. All right, how you, Mandel? You've stolen you got something that from me that I intend to get back. And they got the court noise and everything. Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. The gig's you have up. no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Deal or no deal, Howie, get out of my face. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. Man. I can promise you that. Your breath, bro. Oh. oh. Stop annoying our host, Louis. What? Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Mom, that don't make any Just sense right now. Minutes and he my is beating my will be ass. Ready. My eyeball hurts. He's trying to slip us some liquid. He's trying to slip us some liquid heroin. Our bodies mother. will dissolve in less than four hours. He's trying to loosen our tongues, mom. You'll we gotta get out of here. It loosens tongues in no time. I don't want my tongue loosened. I like my tongue the way you it know, is. I have to admit, mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours: always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. You'll take care of him. Von Borchardt! Von Borchardt! Mm hmm? Listen! <coughs> Let's make a deal. Deal or no deal, Howie. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Alazif, what is what is that? All right, mom. Look, mom is a gangster. I, she's like, trust me, mom. I'm gonna trust you because your mother dearest. Howie, you old spotted, bald headed. Mer. Please. Be All right, what you got, mom? <laughs> oh, trick move. Hands up, mother fluffer. Why don't you put that knife down and get knocked out like your dad used to? Mama said knock you out. Uh. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. Thanks, Mother Dearest. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. It's a strange family. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. 
means I haven't finished with this that case. Secret society oh, I had a in the feeling background. you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Uh. Come on, let's go home. Talk to your and mom don't like forget that. to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Sure took the deal, Howie. Oh, halitosis breath. Smelled like ass and regret and a and like no nos. You ever heard someone no no no? That's what his breath smelled like. It was no no no. One month later, January twentieth, seventeen ninety three. Here we are, off the coast of England, Lord Mortimer's island. My man's got a whole ass island. Oh, there we go. Focus Home Interactive for Cyanide presents. Those are the publishers, y'all. And the game developers is... Da -da 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 Big Bad Wolf Studio. Yeah, Y'all might be more familiar with either one of those names. I haven't heard of any other games they've been had a hand in. But this game right here, I've only well played done, like the first 10 minutes. You just had to pick up Bob Bertrand's trail on your own. It's interesting. You ditch me in Paris with no explanation. And off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions. Is that our mom? Lord and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island. Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Oh, right. <laughs> The Council. Episode 1. The Mad Ones. <laughs> Sorry. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. Sorry, my peeps. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. That's it my Mad Ones laugh. Your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island. Logging. Searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. <laughs> oh, mother. I'm already hating this trip. And all I've She's such a slogger. She's always slogging around. Well, now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sarhon, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. Thank you, good sir. What brings you here? Why are you in my business? Just because you're all holy and stuff. Uh. Man. Yeah. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. Adapt quickly, my son. To get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? No. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a oh, very really? few ever make it. I never thought about yeah. it. Imagine this must be your first time here. Man, my man's asking a lot of questions. <sighs> Alright, um... Sure. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You, you won't soon forget. Given what I've seen so far, I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They're waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, uh, Duchess. Hold on, your Cardinal? duchessness. A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you oh. alright? Yo, Louis. Might need to have a seat there, homie. Looking a little faint. Should have had a Snickers. Mother? What? Oh, shit. oh Fluff. Mom, what's wrong with your hand? Where is your so? whole ass hand? 
Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Why is, yes. why is Dirty Baby here? I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. That bee's nest on the back of her head. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Yo, Just what is going on? No, mother, no, don't, don't! What? Oh, uh, mom on that gangster shit again. Mind? Here she go. There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. It happened to you, Madre. But Don't shoot her. It's not her fault. She got way too much eyeliner and makeup on. Who's this guy with the paint of face? No! Fluff is going on. Our whole ass face is bloody. It's all in our mouth. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? I don't know. You got a napkin or something? You all up in our grill? Here, take this. This is nice. Thank you. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. Ooh. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm. I'm sorry. Hey. I'm sure. Yes. Calm down, Louie. Fine. You getting pissed off, Dutch baby? She's just being concerned. I definitely have to find mother quickly. You definitely need a nap. Crazier, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, mother. Yeah, scratch your head, because I'm confused too. You having seizures, bro? You gotta let us know stuff like this. Could be a note that comes with you. To the person playing this game. Fluffy. I so times I so sometimes have seizures. Bear with me. Louis, Louis. during the trip I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. What's up, yes, Dutch baby? Just... I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? <laughs> I see his face, he had no idea what she's talking about. It's like what? Man, she's asking questions. Alright. Choose your class. We got diplomat. Diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker. He avoids false paths. And he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Predilection. I don't even know. I'll Google that later. Occultist. Is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts, using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him at all. Ladies and gentlemen, my peeps, that is a toxic narcissist and a manipulator. I'm not trying to be any of that. You got the detective. Excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on a hands-on man. He does not shy away from the, the direct approach. Alright, so when I said I played up to 10 minutes, that was like basically 8 minutes ago. And this is all just blind play. Ladies and gents, the council. This game is pretty, this game is interesting right here. I'm gonna be a detective. I'm a regular Dick Twacy. Now there's anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. So this is our skill tree. We got three available points. Isn't this the, ba it's the same thing? Now there's anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Notice noteworthy detail, I mean details, good gracious, or oddly placed elements. Hmm. Um, vigilance. You gotta stay vigilant. I they gave us this point because um, I think because we trusted mother. That's why they gave us that free skill point. 
So it's like we was either going to be a detective or we was going to be a manipulator. Use your logical mind and something. Alright. Oh, gotta have some agility. We got one more. Oof. Notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Mer. Mmm, vigilance. What? Oh, I thought I ran out of points. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves We're a big deal, lady. their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory, Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please call Wait, me Emily. Uh, are you Fine, a Gemini? Tell me. You mean I was actually helped in that case by my mother. Dutch baby. We didn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Oof. Oof. Uh, to be honest, in this real life situation, you guys, I'd just say no. But, ah, uh, French toast. How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Oh, she hit us with a trick question, y'all. Dang, Dutch baby. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. So those effort points are the things along the bottom left of the screen. Those are effort points. And uh, y'all seen the skill tree menu. So, before we press X, I get to do a little cheat move. Remind me of how we met. So I can use one skill point where it says chat her up it'll make her lose her train of thought distract her ass or ah we can't use that oh no we're about to lose this one you guys don't you remember we bumped into each other at Mesmer's show in Paris that fraudster had even bamboozled the Marquis of Lafayette you too apparently because I've never been to see him Ouch. Well, that didn't work. Right. Time to go to the mama. It sounded, it sounded good, my dude. It, it sounded hella convincing. You convinced me. Uh, she's a slick one. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the objective that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Alright, we got opportunity, y'all. Oh, them lips. I ask her a question, she answers with another. She Sugar playing lip. with me? Yeah, she's playing with this, bro. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Okay, so if we reveal their vulnerability, then we basically don't lose a point. Or maybe we just get one point back. If we slip up and they're immune to it, like, haha, get that shit out of here. Then we lose. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still... Oh, we can look at our immunity? Alright, let's see. Oh man, all that mascara and eyeliner, Bill. What is you doing? All right, English Duchess, close to the English crown. Well, okay, so she's she's in there. She's down with the family, y'all. Very discreet about her origins. Emily only came onto the pol political scene after her wedding. That some qualify as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline libertarian 
modern but discreet. She has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister, William Pitt, to take her as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's island because for nothing in the world would she miss one of these famed receptions. This is some secret society stuff right here, for one. For two, uh, did she, she basically pulled an Anna Nicole Smith. Like, what? She married the old guy that was rich and about to die, and that's how she's, that's how, that's how she's here. You're a sneaky one, Emily. Answered Dutch about baby. my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. What's that mean? I don't know where we're going like this, Emily. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. Yeah. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlocked conditions and effects as they are as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Alright, so I'm gonna try to go over this real quick, real brief like, and uh, oh you can look at, okay, that's the map, that's cool. That's really cool, so this is the boat dock. This is our journal, this is where we can read on the individuals, myself, our mother, look at her. Mom, you on some sneaky sneak. This is our inventory. This is the invitation. I'm writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation. You know, we can't find your mom. I invited her to the island not too long ago. Something happened, she just disappeared. You know, I don't I don't want to over worry about it and I don't want to over worry you. But, you know, I would like for you to get to this island, join me, so we can have some drinks and find your moms. ASAP. Please accept the expression of my highest consideration. Yours truly, your boy, Lord Willie Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Alright, Mortimer. Mortimer, you just want to get us to this island and stab us in the back, bro. Oh, I thought I, I saw something. We got some royal jelly. Oh snap! I don't think they're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready. <laughs> oh, that's what Dutch baby said. That's why she got on that dress with them holy moly sticking out like that. Put them puppies away. Hot. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Eh. That's kind of weird. I don't know about an incredible view. It's like a farm on a cliffside. Got a silo. Oh, we got some more of that jelly. What's up, sir? Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Morales de Richet. Fluffy J. Delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. That's very kind of you. Interesting guy with a wig on and a mask. I like that color. It's nice, though. Is that tail? Baby blue? Hmm. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since her mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. 
But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. <clears throat> uh, we can use one of those. And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir. Yes. On the wooden part of the wharf. What type of damage? Broken barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have uh, orders to give it to Lord When Mortimer, I say Sir, it sounds like they're saying Sarah. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Hum. Alright, well, I'm glad that's locked. I don't want to intimidate him. That's manipulation, so... Let me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Give Let's me the go handkerchief. For it. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes. Nice. But invited by your master. Nice. Course, because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. I must return now. There's still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. That's right, you run along there. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. It's like, what could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Wharf. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so... Oh, oh, so all the servants look the same? Oh, Alright. He, he represents all the servants. <laughs> Alright, so their vulnerability is logic and also questioning. They have no immunities. And something else to be discovered. Yeah, they all wear a mask. Who? Piagi? Haha. <laughs> What's up, Piyagi? Mr. Piyagi. Alright, so let's investigate. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges oh. are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contract, I put my money on cannon powder. Well, we're gonna take the bar, obviously. This might just come in handy. I don't know where we're gonna put it, but it'll come in handy. Let's see what's hidden inside. I'll bet. Ah, one of the letters is stamped with the seal of the order. And I recognize your handwriting anywhere, Mother. But who is this Samuel Ritter Doshua? Who are you writing to? I don't recognize the name. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, 
Sarah Faustine to Richer. What is your game here, mother? Secrets, always more secrets. You never talk to anyone using language like this. <laughs> Mom Something's is a going sneaky. Sneaky sneak. Who is this Samuel Ritter? And for crying out loud, who is this Big man the door that you keep bringing up? Think. Doi. Why does the name sound so familiar? Doi. Can we use this? Nope, that's politics. Man, I think we picked wrong on the skill tree, you guys. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Actually, she don't. It's your mom. She ain't gotta tell you nothing. Just tell you none of your Let's business, and then, then that's it. <laughs> you can't do nothing else about it. Let's look. Oh, we can read in. Oh, okay. That was stuff. All right. So who's Carl Corey? It's too badly written. I I can't make out the address. Oh, it's chicken scratch. Okay. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. This name sounds familiar. Hush, hush. No. I can't seem to place it. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, so, when I was in there, I realized that there was two, two things I put a red. One was in a, like an oriental... Obviously, I'm guessing maybe like Chinese, Japanese, uh, Vietnamese, you know, something that involves the word knees. A lantern. That language Special. is in there. But he couldn't read it because we didn't have that uh, skill tree. It was another one too. We couldn't read it because we didn't have that skill tree. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Dutch baby stuff? barrel's been broken for quite some time. Alright. Yo, oh. Yo, Louie, what is up with those no bleed those nose bleeds, man? What is those, man? What, what's going on? Talk to us. Talk to us. Mmm, that jelly. Something not right about this floorboard. Under there, it's different from the rest. Somebody replaced it recently. It looks like it's fixed pretty solidly in place. It's going to be tough to rip it out of here. Okay. I think the more we use them, the more they like level up. You there thought you was about to rip that up with your bare hands? Inside. There's a book oh, he and did. also a bag. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> the Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Can we grab... Okay. Put it in our magical backpack. Manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Oh yeah, we like the permanent ones. Quest of the blah, blah, blah. All right. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Shit, those are definitely my mother's things. Okay. I recognize her hairpins. This Mom's bag thing. smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. You see how old this food some is? Fruit, and a piece of bacon, and some bread. Hmm, bacon. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. And the smell of this food's been here roughly two days. And if it's That's rationed, what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Last two more days. So, if she's been gone for two weeks, and this fool is sitting here underneath, 
either someone's helping her and they're bringing her food and leaving it for her. Yeah, okay. The iron key completely rusted. Well, we're gonna take this. You never know. It might right? be useful. My mother wasn't counting on it. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Is that gunpowder? Right. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. Mother? If you want your purse, you got some explaining to do. Nowhere, Mother. I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Well, she probably is, man. On this crazy ass island. My man's got a whole island. Who knows what he's up to? It's his island, his rules. He can run around the whole island naked. He don't care who's here. Talking about some helicopter, helicopter. Like, ew, I will run away too. Yo, y'all see that? That bar is missing from right there. That's where that bar came from. You know we can't just open this gate. Make more noise. I'll never get it open barehanded. Ooh, I want Ah Subterfuges. I don't know what that means. Let's see if this key works. Oh well, look at that. Here we are. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. Gunpowder. I mean, isn't that how they used to load their guns back in the day? They'll load it with gunpowder and then put like a pinball or some metal ball up in the musket or in their revolver. You have to reload it every time. Good gracious. It's like a pistol case, but it's empty. Huh? I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. Oh. none of it's telling me anything useful. Dutch baby and everybody else, watch out. Mama's got a gun. Mom's got a gun. <laughs> no, mom looked like uh, Red Dead Redemption, the undead version. Her whole nose and face and eyeball was all messed up. Her whole ass hand and wrist was missing. Oh man, we gotta find you, mom. I don't know if that was a premonition. Was used as storage for a I hope you're alive. It would look like someone had basically murdered mom. It was looking at her corpse. Uh huh. What do we hear? It's cannon powder. So maybe that was in the bottom of mom's purse. We can't examine gunpowder because we don't have that politician. It's unusable. Hurt. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, <laughs> let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of a wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, it looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she has to You found the amber fragment. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Okay. A fragment of amber. I, I was hoping it wouldn't stop the dialogue originally. That's why I was standing around waiting. Ah, all right, whatever. So I'm thinking the same thing. Someone's helping his mother. She ran away because uh, Mortimer is on some bullshit. Pit, we don't know about Pit yet. Okay. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies. Of course. Oh, you're a powerful woman. A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate, infiltrate the highest circles of society. Politics, trade transactions, secrets of the state, or paranormal spheres. Oh boy. The order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, and Central Africa. Not to mention the expansion of her occult section, 
which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis, to become the new face of the Golden Order. Whoa, Mom, that's a lot. I need you to back up. We ain't got no brother or no little cousin. So, wow. They're, they're, they're for real. Louis Morris de Rihit. I don't know. A young Par Parisian, Parisian aristocrat. Is that because he's from Paris? Okay. Ever since he was a young child, Louis moved in his mother's circles. And so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order. The secret society headed by Sarah. Mom. Woof. Louis progressed quickly at her side. Despite the daily treatment her mother proscribed for his m chronic migraines. Okay, that was not a migraine. He climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in occult cases for which he was particularly tr talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Everything pointed to one day, young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. Okay, uh, those aren't migraines. She's giving us some kind of concoction she made. We got some kind of weird secret powers. Mom, you need to spill the beans. Mom's holding secrets. All right, my peace, we're going for it. Y'all ready? I'm kind of ready. I bet you someone's helping mom out though. Latin inscription. Amnesis, mi fili quantilia produncia mundus vergatio. Oh wow, you're good. Another one. See? Oh, I should have. I guess I should have been a, in the politics or. I don't want to be a manipulator. <laughs> That's not the vibe I want to be. No. Alright, here we go. Up the long, looming staircase. It's a lot of stairs here. Oh. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? With a lot of people he paid, my friend. He didn't build it, others did. I mean, now that we're up here, it looks magnificent. It has a maze in the front yard. I mean, if this is the front yard, it could be any part of the house. This big ass door. Opens by itself. Aw oh, man, we in for it. We'll never be able to escape. Consult your journal frequently. Frequently. Eh. The hell who's that? Zeus? Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can not I do my for dad. you? Your eminence. You not my dad. I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. Uh -huh. But I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Three blunders. Confrontations. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so do not hesitate to use your skills. Okay, each confrontation displays an inter interface showing how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Oh boy. Alright guys, we're about to get into a confrontation. Alright Mr. Piagi. What you say about my mama? Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. 
I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Let me let me get that letter. Happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. Then. Oh. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't okay. aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. Kind of still need that if letter. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Uh, you said you work together. What's going on what up there? What do you do exactly? Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, professional secret. Sorry. Ah, I don't have it. I don't have that one either. You guys. Professional secret. Sorry. If you know my mother, you will understand that I cannot answer you, Your Eminence. I'm sorry, but... Do not worry, my son. I perfectly understand, and I expected nothing less from you. Discretion oh, look and at secrecy that. are both pillars of the organizations for which we work. You are the worthy son of Sarah. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look. If it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Yeah. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Oh, yeah, I, I do think you should give it to me. The whole point of me having this conversation with you, Piagi. Uh, you know what? Let's Only you know that, Your Eminence. If you're asking me if you can trust me, or if I can keep a secret, I would answer yes. Absolutely. I understand. In truth, it all depends on the nature of the contents of your letter. It is a list of names. This list must be of extreme importance. Ah, if only you knew. It's a list of people that your mother must help. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other <clears throat> than your mother will read it? Yeah, of course. I promise you. Oh God, Cardinal, Mr. Piagi. I swear, oh God. No one else other than my mother will read this letter. Wait, hold on. It's going too fast. Listen to me, child. If I give you this letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? No one other than my mother will read it. I swear by the Almighty God to honor the promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Riche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by mm. organizing the priest's safe passage well, across the world. I can't just be touching little boys and Even think going to get away. Even if she doesn't all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. 
Well played. All well played indeed, sir. Alone, whether to look at what it contains. What did he say? He was gonna look and see what it contains. No, 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 no. We swore for God. No one else, no one else but our mother's eyes shall, shall gaze upon this letter. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will impact, have an impact on your adventure. So do not hesitate to look for them. That, that's one reason why I picked detectives in the first place. We'll be able to find stuff. All right, so here's the letter. No, that's the invitation. Piagi's letter sealed. Mm. All right, so as I showed y'all earlier, we found out his, his vulnerability is questioning. He, he can't stand being questioned. He buckles, starts sweating and stuff. <laughs> like, oh, they're questioning me. God help me. All right, we have manipulation. Man, you guys, I can We should have been a manipulator. Look at that. What does it say? Science. Okay, so uh, rely on your knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols. Benefit from a sound cultural background in arts. I don't know what that necessarily means, but it sounds pretty awesome. Discreetly steal items. Notice falsification. Ah, oh, we should have went with that. Adopt the appropriate behavior for every social situation. Also used to formulate flattery and veiled, veiled insults. Interesting. Convince people with the sheer force of your will and your attitude. Express your grasp of the geopolitical situation, nations, interests, and diplomatic re relations. Divert people's attention, change the subject, avoid questions. Wow. Translate all kinds of documents and conversations in foreign languages. Man. Gee willikers. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to do a, a playthrough of this a couple of times.